18 year old body. <laughs> Pops right back. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. As the Secretary said, we're well into the second week of the military portion of our campaign against terrorism, and our operations continue today. We've made progress in destroying or degrading the Taliban infrastructure and setting the conditions for future operations as well as furthering humanitarian uh, relief efforts. Yesterday, U.S. forces struck in more than a dozen target areas that included terrorist camps and forces, Taliban military facilities, including missile, vehicle, and armor maintenance and storage sites, airfields, troop deployment and garrison areas, and command and control facilities. Uh, special operations forces are likely to play. We have three video clips uh, to show today. In the first clip, we see a headquarters building at the Kabul, Kabul deployment area in central Afghanistan. The second clip shows an armored vehicle in the open in the Kandahar barracks in southern Afghanistan, one of the training facilities and garrisons uh, for the Taliban forces. And the final clip shows a Taliban security post in southern Afghanistan. This is an example of a target within an engagement zone, as we discussed yesterday, and the target, a tank, is in a defensive position. I firmly believe that this is the most important task in the U.S. military has, has been handed since the Second World War. And what's at stake here is no less than our freedom to exist as an American people. So there's no option but success. We owe it to a, our families and to the family of peace-loving nations to prevail in this fight. So to every soldier, sailor, airman, marine, and coast guardsman, and DOD civilian, and our allies and friends, I say let's stay ready, let's stay focused. Our victory will be the nation's victory. In a sense, it'll be the world's victory for, for sure, those who love freedom. Our unmanned but armed predators. The, the numbers that Taliban has been floating out in the media are, are we are certain false in terms of larger numbers than that. And, and, and we also have anecdotal information from the ground that people on the ground are impressed by the fact that they can basically go about their business in many respects and not fear from the bombing that's taking place because the bombing that's taking place is, is as I say, focused on military targets. It's focused for the most part outside of these towns and when television says we're bombing Kabul, we're not bombing Kabul. We may take out a single location in Kabul, but most of the effort is on the outskirts of Kabul in unpopulated areas and military targets. War, since World War II, uh, can you expand on